All right. Winner side match, Shane Van Boning versus Ronnie Alcano. And there's a, uh, this is two of the, there's four people left on the winner's side. This is two of them. The other two is Oscar Dominguez and Brandon Schuff, and they're also just started their match. The winners of these, of that match and this match will play at 7.30, and they'll end up in the hot seat. Matches tomorrow start at noon. This is the U.S. Open One Pocket, uh, 2018 version, U.S. Open One Pocket Championships. They're playing at Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas. I'll say sunny Las Vegas since it's a beautiful day today, about 70 degrees. Perfect weather. And this is one of the main reasons why uh, CSI has announced that our national championships, effective 2020, will be moving to this time of the year, the February and March, for uh, starting in 2020 through 2025. Avoid some of the 110 degree heat. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, change things a lot. There is a lot of exciting things going on in pool with the wow, a little aggressive but pretty safe shot. Yeah, yeah we're, we're 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 going to become the center of it with uh, with matchrooms announcement and uh, moving the, the U.S. Open nine ball here in, in the ap in April of 2019. Is and this mic live here? Oh, now it, it sounds it like it now. is now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good deal. Shane's kicking. He's just going to hit it underneath it, I think. And just, yeah. Did he get a rail afterwards? I think the cue ball got a rail. Think, yeah. 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 It should have, but it was hard to tell. You know, these guys are big rivals in life. Yes. Playing pool. Yeah, there was that little incident uh, in Louisiana maybe five, six, seven years ago. Didn't call the ball. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, subsequent to that, they've played several money games in the Philippines. Uh, Ronnie may not like me to say this, but Shane beat him seven times in a row money games in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, he kind of. But of course, that's all. That's all ten ball. Yeah. Not well, Shane's game. ten ball game is just a notch or two above most human beings. <laughs> you know. I'm not. Be honest with you, I'm not familiar with Ronnie's one pocket game. Well, you don't, you rarely see a one pocket game in the Philippines. He's he was struggling. Uh, I think he's, you know. But here's the thing: they learn. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Efren. They learn went, fast. Went from went from what the hell is this to being world champion in about three weeks. Well, it wasn't that fast, but it was it was about three months, literally. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah. Billy and Cardona. Yeah, yeah. From the time that he and Freddie started working with Freddie the Beard, and yep. Billy and Cardona yeah. started working with Efren. He became a monster and. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. rest is history. Oh, yeah. It's best best one-pocket player ever. of all time. Yeah. yeah. But the Filipinos are not known for their one-pocket game. But they're, you know, I was saying earlier, you know, in the old days, road players, they played all games. Then you got into the Johnny Archer era, and there's all nine ball and ten ball. Well, nine ball. Then ten ball came around. But now it's going back to where you've got to play all, the, all games again, which is the best way. You, 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 much better. Ronnie was trying to put him in the pack there again, and right. he, he, he just, failed to do it, so he let he, Shane look at the ball. He didn't come close, that ball. He yeah. didn't, didn't spin it at all. And Warren was, uh, you know, obviously another Filipino who plays very, very good. Uh, he was lucky to get past Mitch. He should not have. Mitch, 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 Mitch let him back in the, in the, the game and the, in the match. When he had six to nothing. Yeah. This looks good. Yeah. He's going to bank the probably. Oh, no, no I, think I think the 11 think, will go. I think it goes. And he can open up the pack with his yeah. shot. He has developed into having a powerful stroke. You know, I mean, when he whacks it, he, he just, it's an explosion and, and totally controlled. So he could move a lot of stuff here. Or he can just roll it. He'll hit say. this medium hard, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that wasn't hard enough. No. That was not hard enough. No, he, was, he had something in mind. He thought they were going to open up more than mm -hmm. that. He may have to come back here and bank this two ball. He's, not, he's, he's just going to bring it over. He's not going to try and make it. Because he has to cut it too much, and he's going to give up the 13 if he misses. You know, if I, to add to what you were saying, once the Filipinos start learning one pocket, though, they play good. Look at Bustamante. Look at oh, Alex. Oh, Bustamante. Yeah. Look at Alex. Oh, jeez. I, 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 uh, in my book, 
It's hard to say, though, because when you got uh, Dennis Okuda was really playing up. But I yeah. personally, in my mind, I'd have to say Alex is the best one-pocket player. But he doesn't play enough. If he just... You know, but he just won the one down there in, uh, at Scotty Town. He so was first, and, fr and Francisco, Francisco was, was second. second. And I think Dennis was third, I think. Mm, I don't think so. I read so. it somewhere. I don't okay. think so. Okay. No. No, Tony Chohan was third. Okay. And Jeremy Jones was fourth. I know that because I bought Jeremy in the Calcutta. I got lucky. Really? Yeah. That was a monster Calcutta. <laughs> You're telling me. Yeah. So, the, actually, the tournament was... Not anything substantial when it comes to price point. It was just the Calcutta. Calcutta was worth uh, about four times, like maybe more than more that. More than that. You know, no, wait. First prize, first prize in the tournament was ten thousand. First prize in the Calcutta was over twenty-eight thousand. So about true. three times. But but the the uh, overall prize. Yeah, the, oh, oh yeah, because the uh, pr Calcutta is about one hundred seventy thousand of the two hundred twenty or something like that. Well, they had two Calcuttas. They had a yeah. first and a second yeah. one. And they had a Calcutta online. <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> they do that on AZ Billiards. You get, there's so many goofy gaming, gambling rules and laws. Who knows? Anyhow, this is a race to four because this is a winner's side match. And like I said, the winner of this match will play again at 530, or excuse me, at 730 uh, on this table. How many's left yeah. on the winner's side? Four. Guys. Four, and yeah, you've okay. got you've got Oscar and Brandon are playing. That's the other match on the winner's side. So the two winners will play at seven thirty. Well, the cream is rising to the top, Mark. How's that happen? <laughs> it always happens that yeah, way, doesn't it? Boy, Brandon's playing good. Well, he Brandon's good. always had a pretty decent one pocket game. You know, not always, but he's you know Shane shooting at his hole here. looking good for this game now. He's got balls out in the open. Yeah. Four ball goes. He's got the four, the three, the seven. After he gets these two, I think he's going to be in the one hole. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh I'll try to get you guys, keep you guys half posted on the Brandon Schuff versus uh, Oscar match. But, uh, we can see the score. I can't. Can I can't. You? I can okay. see the wire. I can see the wire. It's, right, cool. no, there's no score yet. He's trying to come around here for this. Uh, well, he was two ball. Hey, no, he was trying to get to the three ball or whatever that other ball is. Well, he knew he needed this one of these balls. This is a this is a little bit of a tight fit here for the yeah, cue ball. I think he can throw it in though. I think he can really? use that. Boy, from yeah. my angle, it doesn't even look close to that. Well, let's just see. Well, now I'm not sure if he's shooting it. It almost looks like he's shooting I a combination. Think. Let's see. Look at this. How Look sweet this. is that? Boom. Look at this. <laughs> this is for the game. This yeah. is for game wow. number one. Wow, wow, wow. But that's, uh, this is, at this level, this is what happens in one pocket. You know, the game has changed. Go back 30 years ago, nobody even tried to ring these balls. It's two Except and high, Ronnie two, yeah, two, <laughs> two and duck, two and duck. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, you have to give a little credit to Scott Frost with his power in one pocket. Stuff like that can just change things. And I, I keep trying to remind people who to thank for all this crap. The equipment's changed things, too, oh this yeah. fast cloth. Yep. Yeah. Grady Matthews for keeping the, lame, the game alive. OnePocket.org for making, you know, keeping things going on and uh, Scott for uh, changing the style of game uh, Matt Rosendahl for creating the US Open one pocket right you know, so yeah it's uh, and give yourself a pat on the back for maintaining it yeah we've been keeping alive going since 2004 and now we've got a permanent home for it so we can start actually making some of these things grow a little bit better when you have to hunt for a, a venue, it makes it tough. Shane's got two games. Yeah, he's fast. His games go fast. Ronnie's cutting this one ball in. Turn the cue ball loose a little bit. Ooh, didn't even come close. He's in trouble here. Well, Shane makes these guys change their game. You can't outmove him, so you better just 
run them like they're nine ball, you know. It well, changes their game. Well, when you, when you run over a guy a dozen times gambling, you know, psychologically, you've got a big well, edge. That's true, too. Yeah. yeah. Big shot here. Big opening shot. Ooh, he dogged it. I don't say he dogged uh, it. He yeah. missed it. Let's yeah. say. Yeah. Now, Ronnie's got an open table. Ronnie yeah. needs to take advantage of this. Ronnie's staring at those balls, but everything's. He's got three balls wide open. Then he's going to have to do something. He was trying to I open know the he ball. Was trying, well, he, he actually should. opened one ball up there on the top yeah, of 15 I, ball. I just, will go I just think I think he should have whacked a little bit more. You know, he's got a stronger stroke than that. He spun it more than drew it. He need to get some traction. But he's he's supposed to get the one and get better and get this stripe. You know, it's a natural. If shape. he can get around and get on that 15 ball, who he oh, he's jacked up over the eight too. Yeah. Now it's going to be hard to get on the 15 ball. He's going to scratch his head a little bit. Well, he's looking at this bank shot as possibly the next shot. I don't think he could be banking. Why would he bank this ball now? He, there's no pocket. He, he's looking at it, but it's not going to go through the 10. He's going to have to shoot that 10 ball first. Yeah. And he'll probably have to shoot a bank next. Boy, I, yeah, I don't see him being able to, unless he could... Bring it up here and hit the five cue ball. You know, that's you know again. He could also get himself really stuck up because he's you know Shane's got those balls and you've got to be aware of that. You know, Mark, he's the kind of player that he might go for it. He might try to do something uh, to you break those balls. You should have seen up. the shot. I wasn't here. The shot that he he was. Uh, I heel, heard heel, about heel, that heel, heel game. Do you have that shot on tape? No, it was not. It wasn't on the TV oh table. Oh my god! Everybody's yeah. talking about that shot. Yeah. yeah down to the last ball and there's a ball in the spot and he's corner hooked from the far corner. And, and he kicks it in. Kicks it? No, he kicks it and the object ball goes rail, rail in his pocket. He kicked it in two rails. <laughs> Here he goes. Now he's shooting the 10 ball. I don't know if he can get around for the 15. I think he's going to go up and hit the five. Is that the five? Yeah. If he can just get a little he don't left like, He doesn't like it. No. He doesn't like it. You no, that's elevated and you know he's there. these guys are hanging the balls up. Remember, this is a four and a quarter inch table. I don't know why. I understand why. Look at this. Well, yeah. that's a good safety. You know, listen, listen. <laughs> Sometimes chicken harder is the, is, the, is the right move. Well, he didn't get much he, out of that. He had an no. open table and only got two balls. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be encouraging to Shane. Yeah. Shane will probably just play safe off the edge of the two. Just like that. Yeah. He wants to hide him. From that six ball down near his pocket. Yeah, you got to protect your ball, yeah. but he can, he can hit it. Yeah, he can kick behind I mean, and, it and 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 hit it real softly so he doesn't leave a bank. So that way the six is the protection. Let's see what he does. It's a lot harder than what he had a minute ago, though. He hit it too hard. Well, okay. It worked out okay. It worked out okay, but I, I thought he. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying just lay up behind the ball, which is actually a very good safety. Yeah. Shane can shoot this two ball up table. He could bank that two ball. That's a free shot. Mm -hmm. Now he's looking at it. You know, you can actually bank the two down into the, what is it, the, the three, three and the nine. Yeah. You could bank it straight. That's not a bad shot, guys. Mm -hmm. You bank this ball straight down table into those balls because the three goes towards the pocket, and the two would probably come off the three. And go there. But tr he'll See probably he try to make it. The only thing there, you got to hit it with a little more speed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. That's what he did. He hit the three. Look at this. Now he sends two balls towards his pocket. Yep. My buddy Ron Rutens here from Seattle. Another good one pocket player. You got a bunch of good. How, how did you guys all learn to play one pocket up there in Seattle so good, man? Is it Harry? The Plattis effect. <laughs> Can he get this ball? Can he get to this two ball? He's spinning to get it. He, yeah. Oh, wow. How did that cue ball stay up? Didn't it look like it was going to spin in? I thought in it was going to spin in. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, Shane didn't waste any time. He's going off the bottom of the three, going behind all these balls. He wants to get, he wants to, no, 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 no. That's yeah. not really what he wanted to do. He's okay, but not okay. I mean, he's going he's gonna to lose his, his balls there. I think he was trying to get under both those balls. Yeah. Get past it. Get I agree. past that tank. I agree. Ball. I agree. Yeah. He had it awful soft. Yeah. Yeah. This is, and this is the winner's match, so it's a race to four. Race to three on the loser's yeah. side. How many yeah. players did you have left today? Like 16 left going uh, you into know, the... I believe so. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm kind of tickled, you know, with the 29 players with a very reasonable $300 entry fee and $50 in fees and green fees and all that stuff. But anyhow, 6000 first. Is it 6000 3000 second. It's a pretty sweet tournament. Yeah. No, it is. Well, look at the four, fi four your four finalists right now. You got a pretty good quality field here. There are a lot of good players in this field. Yeah. I just want to maintain a quality event that's affordable for an aspiring one pocket player. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it where you got to be a champion or pay, spend a thousand dollars to get in a one pocket tournament. I just that's it's a different breed of, of event. You know, so. I like your idea. Keep it to where it's affordable. I mean, when you start having a thousand dollar event, you're you're lucky to get sixteen players. Yeah. Yeah. They they almost had a buy. At mm -hmm. the last minute, they got their sixteenth player down there at the Scotty Towns. And, Players support that event because of their admiration for Scotty a lot too. Well, and, the, and they're chasing that Calcutta. Yeah, yeah. The ball That's count it. is two nothing, and I believe that uh, is Ronnie Alcano's got the two. Ronnie has the two. So no one's putting up a ball count right now. Well, he's no. Shane's only got one game. Shane only won okay. one game. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. I saw a two I, up well, there. Yeah, I said, get, what yeah. the heck is yeah. that? All right. And he'll mark the ball count up in a sec. So Ronnie Alcano is the ball count on this game is 2-0, Ronnie. Right. Race to four. We don't know what the next match is because uh, they're fighting it out. To, it'll be a loser side match. B side match. One loss side. I hate to call them losers. Man, it's such a stink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the loser's bracket, man. <laughs> it's always crowded over there. <laughs> I paid a visit over there for a while today. Well, you're a double loser. Uh, I'm a thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this wild shot yeah. Ronnie just tried. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? It worked out. <laughs> he was fortunate there. Yeah, yeah. Although yeah. Shane might be able to shoot the six ball. He's asking, he's going to come around and look at that's it. That's spooky. Oh, you know, it's, a bad spot. it's so deceiving, the camera angle and reality are just not quite the same sometimes. He's, he's looking to stretch. He's got that, what is that, a 65-inch cue or no, something No, it's like only that. about 62. He said it's just about a 4-inch extension. Oh, I asked okay. him because I, I, I was guessing it was a 65 or 66, and I was way off. He followed after his mentor, Earl Strickland, with his long, he's shooting that six ball. Yeah, but look how many people are going to that long. There's something to it. Well, it's like you got an extension built into the queue. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. But we I didn't oh, notice that he made the ball. And then he got really unlucky here, but he made the ball that was in the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ronnie's got this game, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, he's he's I definitely think. in control here. Ronnie's got three. As you see, there's two balls out in the open there, the 10 and the 2, and he can also get behind those other balls. He seemed to be a little aggressive there. Uh, that, that was an aggressive shot for Shane. He'd have, look at where he was, though. He'd yeah. have been all right if he'd have made the ball. Yeah. Ronnie's stretching. Sure taking his time on this shot. That's, you know, he looked very tentative there. He's not happy with this. Well, you can see why. He Holy can, crap. See, see, again, he's in a spot where it's hard to do anything with the cue ball. <laughs> yeah. He needs to keep that cue ball out. This is a missable shot. If it's a, if he's elevated, like, well, okay, from this angle, he's just spinning it in. But that's. He's trying to go around the table. He ain't going to do it. Look at this. Wow, he almost scratched. He almost scratched. Yeah. Listen, uh, he was actually fortunate to hit the side pocket like that. Otherwise, he'd be all the way down he'd at the end rail. 
looks like he can bank that seven over into the pack and put the cue ball up table. That might be his only option here. Basically bank the seven towards his hole. It'd be nice if he hits the nine. Yeah, that's where he wants to put the cue ball where he was just pointing with his cue stick. Ronnie hasn't done a lot with the two good opportunities he's had. Right, right. And there is a reason why we pick certain matches. Number one, Ronnie Alcano is a little bit of an unknown commodity for the uh, American player. Obviously, Shane is well known. So there's the criticism that Shane's on too many matches, but that's because he's always deep in the tournament. You well, know, you get, what why you, not? Yeah, this is there, winner's bracket. Yeah, you got two yeah. premier players. Yeah, and Oster just came off. He had two matches last last yeah. night, I think, on the TV table. So can't make everybody happy, and it's uh, it's just the way it is. Mark, just, yeah. just from the point of view of a fan, um, which I yeah. am, I'm still a pool fan for all these years, I want to see the best players play. I don't care if they play match after match, and I think most pool fans – They'd rather watch this match than any other match going on. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Ronnie's a former world champion. Yes, he is. He's got the credentials. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, they have a natural rivalry, these two. There's gambling going on in this match right here, believe me. Oh, I'm sure there is. Boy, that's crazy. Look out, look out. Guy just, he's guy going to have position. Watch this. He's going to have position. Guy just shoots too friggin' shoot, good. He played four <laughs> real positions. Oh, my God. Yeah. How many has Ronnie got? Four? Let's see. It says five. I think there's another ball in there. Oh, no, no, yeah. Say, you know. You're right. You're right. It's dark. Yeah. That would make uh, Artie and most guys just roll over. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. He played four rail position and played it perfectly. Yeah. He shoots so frigging straight. And with such confidence. Yeah. Well, we I was Oscar was in the chair like you are. Oh. I guess the six wouldn't go. Yeah. So he had to duck. But, but uh, we were talking about Shane. It's just you know he's you know, he remember a couple of years ago. Well, about five, six, seven, eight years ago, you had the Efren factor. You could be beating Efren, and all of a sudden you realize you're beating Efren, and you miss Q. You know, it's just well, it's getting to be the Shane factor. Oh, for He's sure. He's just intimidating people. I played him the, the first match in this tournament, and I'll be honest with you, I was intimidated. Yeah. I, had, I had him one game 6-2, to two, and I couldn't believe it. I had a chance to win. <laughs> and I had a medium-length long shot, and I missed it. I thought. And that's all I wanted to do, Mark, was win one game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's, there's all the top players really do have an intimidation factor. They're... You're playing against that name. Sure you are. He's wearing his Moscone uh, He does jersey. it all the time. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Considering his record of the Moscone Cup, he's pretty brave. <laughs> yes, true. He does struggle in that thing. That I, ha I, I have no idea why. And I've been, you know, I've been working that event for years. Mm -hmm. And I've watched him just kind of come to pieces sometimes yeah. and it's so unlike him it is very unlike him because i've also watched him play in other world events and he does he, do, he does fine yeah. world pool masters um, world cup he plays his normal game something about the moscone cup does not agree with him people say it's team competition i don't believe that i think he just uh you know it's like anything else if you once you've had a bad year, it weighs on your mind. He feels like he has to make up for it somehow. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's just tough action. You know, there's a lot of pressure. You don't really get any rhythm going. You know, it's. Uh, I think he's expected to be the team leader too. Mm -hmm. That puts more pressure on him. Is that even gonna get there? Barely. Barely. That's good enough. He's got the 14. Looking at how can he open those? Balls. He's looking at this little combination that two ten. If he, if, or I don't know if it's the two or the four ten. After these for these two balls, he's looking at what he can do with that pack, because he's going to have to open them up if he's going to get out this inning. 
14 first and then the six. Nothing wrong with that, although he doesn't have much angle here. He'd like to come off that end rail and break those balls a little bit if he can. That's what he's looking at. Where does he, where does he want to go through that pack with the cue ball? By the way, somebody told me don't forget your cue stick today. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? What kind of kick? What is that? Um, I'm not really sure. It, I know it's a Titleist blank. Somebody said it's yeah. one of Burton Spain's blanks. Because um, I, 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 you know, it looked like I had I had a couple of old ballot bushes that looked very similar to that because of the. It's not. Yeah. It's a I, copy. I, yeah. In, that's in why fact, I Pete Tascarella said um, it may have well have been made by. Uh, a guy out of Oklahoma named Verl Horn, Verl, Verl Horn who made yeah. really good copies. Yeah, yeah. Um, because he, it looked he like said it's still a valuable cue, yeah, it but it's not a bow bush. Cortland wrap, and I says, you know, it's not a bow bush. Yeah, I didn't think no. so. I says, you know, it's like it, similarities, but I don't think so. It's not a Zamboni either. Yeah, yeah. So. Basically, what it is, it's a nice Titleist cue. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That was the house cues back in the day. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember when there were cues like that in Rex. Yeah. I bought. My first cue stick I bought, well, it was the second. The first one I bought was a Master Stroke, Brunswick Master Stroke, and I didn't like it. It was warped on me. So I Where did you live then? Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, you Cartier & Sons at 5th and I. And they had a, it was the Brunswick dealer, and I bought a Moscow, a Hoppy cue nice stick. shot there. $19.25. Brand spanking. Me. <laughs> I bought a Harold Worst cue for $15. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I still had it. Yeah, them old days. They're tied up, five balls each this game, yeah. and Shane's got an open ball. Well, it's a winner's side match. They, no matter who loses, they, they still have a chance to come back around. It's tough, though. Yeah. It's a lot nicer to stay over oh, on the right side yeah, of the board. The you know, on the loser side, you got to play twice as many matches. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got to go. You got to get through two matches to make the same progress you get winning one match on the winner side. But the winner of this match is guaranteed third place. Now, what's it, what's this tournament worth? Six thousand. Six thousand. And what's second and third? Three, and two, two one. Five hundred, five hundred, two fifty, two, three fifty. And Shane already won three thousand in the bank pool. Yeah. He, he just dominates in the United States. He just well, dominates. You, you know something? He likes these titles. That, that title, U.S. Open, whatever, means something to Shane. Sure. There's a lot of guys that just, ah, give me the money. You know? Yeah. And he sees the future value. I really feel that. It looks good on his resume. Oh, yeah. And he has some, you know, pretty good sponsorship deals. Yes. I won't go into how much, but I'll tell you what, he's getting more sponsorship than just about any pool player. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. You're looking at a man that's found a way to make a good living playing pool, and there ain't many like him. Mm -hmm. But he works at it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Ooh. He wanted to hit those yeah. balls. Yeah. He really let, it, let his cue out there, Mark. <laughs> he was trying to go two rails out of the corner and hit yeah. that 15 ball because that would have opened those balls yep. up where yep. he could bank something. Done something. He could have done something. Man, oh, man. But now, this is now it gets tricky. I love the end game in one pocket. Nice little move there. I like that. He left Ronnie absolutely nothing. And now, as you see, all three balls will go to Shane's pocket. Right. And you have to be careful what you're leaving here. And you can't leave a teaser for Shane because he'll shove it where the sun don't shine you know <laughs> yeah he needs to uh, and he's almost on the rail so it's going to be hard for him to do too much but I, I expect him to come off the side of the did we the have a Calcutta in this tournament did uh, you yeah 4800 4650 did you buy me for twenty dollars? You're you're in the you're in the uh, we have in the a, field. A field the field the uh, pot, the pot. 
Who who bought the field? Charlie Phillip, who owns, owns you and five others or six oh, others. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. Well, yeah. I let him down. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't push too hard. I run through them. I don't like the Calcutta to be the main show. So I went through 29 players in about 20 minutes. Good for you. And uh, How many spots are you paying, four or six? Uh, isn't that interesting? I can't remember what we decided. At the time, we didn't know because we didn't know how much money. Oh, four. Four. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Ten, that way you got a decent payoff. 40, 30, 20, 10. Good payoff. And, uh, uh, Sure, First is like 1930. Second is, uh, you know, so it's nice payout. What yeah. was what was the high bid? Shane, 1200. After that, oh, it fell wow. off. It fell off. So he, that. so if you got Pit Shane, you got to win the tournament. He's got to win. No, for you second, to make money. second comes real close. Okay. Well, it's nine nine sixty. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you do have to win. Yeah. Might be a good investment. That was uh -oh. a little bit of yeah. a wild shot there, but look what he did with the cue ball. Well, see, look what he did with the cue ball. And obviously, he planned that. You know, so. Barney's going to try and bank this ball, cross corner. Hit it way long, way deep. Shane's going to have a shot. It's going to be a little. This is a test. These are tough diamond tables here. Yeah, the uh, hot seat uh, match is at 730. It's the winner of this match versus the winner of Oscar and Brandon Schuff. And it will be at 730. Oscar is and shooting for the game ball right now. They, and they went 7-7 seven, seven game one over there. Oscar's shooting at the game ball for the first game. Meanwhile, Shane's got to fire at this ball. Well, he only needs one. So yeah, it's, see, I'd say, yeah. I, me, I roll it. I Look at this. I like this. This yeah, is smart yeah, I, here. I, I, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. So Oscar won the first game down there. He made that ball. The problem with this shot is if he shoots it soft, He's got to be careful not to leave a bank shot. So. He's taking a good long look at it. <laughs> He's having I, I've really never seen him take this long before on it. You know what it is, Mark? He doesn't want to leave two balls down table when he only mm -hmm. needs one. So he's. I, I think it's smart to shoot the 15 ball. That's the only ball in play. Yeah. I like your idea, though, just rolling it. He, he wants to be careful that he doesn't leave Ronnie a bank, so yeah. he, he might be hitting it hard. He's going to hit it medium speed, and he's not going to blast it. I mean, but he's going to hit it firm. That way it gets out of there. He didn't give up much, no. if anything. Ronnie's looking at banking this 15, cross banking the 15. He's also looking at the four ball. If you're having issues with your stream, I really uh, respectfully feel it's at your end. We, we or, or at Facebook's end or something. Uh, we've got a real strong feed out of here. It's, uh, believe it or not, it's 100 megabyte up and down. That's great. I mean, we never have a streaming yeah. problem, never. It's a, it's a foundational thing. If you're gonna stream, you got to have a decent stream. Well, that was a nice shot by yeah. Ronnie hiding yep. the cue ball behind hide the, the yep. 15. But Shane could play safe off the off the four ball there. He can get the cue ball down table. But Ronnie has got a little advantage right now on these last three balls thanks to that shot. Well, he does. He does. He's just going to come off the side and put the cue ball down by, by Ronnie's pocket. Hopefully not in the pocket. He did exactly what you said. Well, I'm his, I'm his mentor. Didn't you know that? <laughs> yeah. But we fa FaceTime lessons back and forth. There you go. <laughs> but Ronnie can he can bank this 15. Kind of a free shot. It, I don't think he can make it, but he can get Try it to down go around. Take. Now Try he's go got. Around now, oh wow! Oh he didn't Lord. want to do that. See, lack of concept. Just just you take something. You got half a shot, and it's gone. He Shane's basically got a free shot. For a player of his caliber, yeah, for see, Ronnie to double kiss that it's, ball it's is kind of like inexcusable. 
Shane can cross this ball. It's a little bit of an awkward angle. He doesn't want to double kiss it. And you don't want to get it pull, pull it too short because then it crosses back. He'd love to shoot. He'd love to shoot the four ball, but I doubt if he will because he doesn't want to give up a shot. Mm -hmm. If you shoot the four, you got to make it. Shane might just knock this ball away. I don't think he wants to cross it. It just looks like a funny angle. Yeah. Wow. Short he held enough. that ball up. Yep. Thank you, Diamond Table. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Well, what do you know about that? This is a race to four. Boy, Ronnie had two golden opportunities to win that yeah. game. Well, from the get-go. Remember, he had, he had the first two and got, he should have got four or five balls and ended up only getting two. Well, it's always easier from the chair. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> We never miss up here. I've never miscued from the chair. And there is another match at 5 o'clock. That, that match war is undetermined yet. They're playing to see who gets here. And then at 7.30 will be the hot seat match. And then tomorrow, 12, 2.30, and 5, I believe. I know it starts at 12. And they'll all be uh, TV matches. You know, Mark, yeah. the comment I've heard most often from the players here? Food? They're having fun. Oh, they're yeah, having that's fun. True. No, it's Thank just, you. Thank no, you. No, it's a, this is a good fun event. It is a fun event. It, the We're place is, fun. you know, there, there's no hassles. Uh, People, are, they can gamble they want to gamble, but nobody's woofing and screaming across the room. It's and, been very yeah. quiet. The matches have been very civil. There hasn't been any arguing. It's uh, You've created a nice, peaceful atmosphere and mm -hmm. environment here. Yeah. So you never made it to the room up in Alaska. It was the same thing. Thank no, you your pals. no. We no. were there 18 years and one fight, and they came in together. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, and it wasn't even a serious fight, but, yeah. I've always believed if you give people a good, a good environment, they'll act accordingly. I totally, totally agree. And we've been having what I would, I'd have to say, we have the strongest action in the world right now. Uh, we've been having some I don't know how much action. you want to talk about that, but no. my God. I'm not my old, bu my, old, my old buddy, they call him JRB here in yeah. L.A., who was, he was Big Bobby. But uh, suffice to say, he runs the biggest card game in the world at the area hotel. And in his spare time, he comes here and enjoys himself. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some monster games. Look at this. It was very similar to the shot that Ronnie did uh, last game where he sliced the ball across. Well, that ball's going to go bye-bye. Conceivably, you could cross this ball, but I don't nah. think Ronnie's going to do it. What he's thinking about is he wants to shoot it away, but he doesn't want to give Shane a shot at that two ball. He's just going to shoot it and stop the cue ball, basically, just and, and not catch the other opposite corner of the pocket. One pocket's a funny game. It's not for everybody. Some people just can't stand watching it. Once you get, lose a couple of games. Have a guy, <laughs> you, you, how many times you had a guy a seven to nothing, you lose the match. Let that happen a couple of times. You're going to enjoy watching this because you're going to learn something. Well, you know what they say about one pocket, Mark? This is a chess game of pool. Oh, I, what I like about it, you could be totally creative in one pocket. Yeah. You can yeah. shoot it. Any, what is he doing here? <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie, come on, Ronnie. you got to shoot that ball. you got to knock that ball away. He's not trying to play this uh, this yeah, ten, this stripe yeah, yeah, ball off the blue ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he trying to cut that seven ball in? Does it go past the five? I don't know. Wow. And I said earlier, one pocket is the only game you can learn from sitting in the chair. Because yeah. you, you can learn. Absolutely. That's how you learn. Yes. I mean, today we have nice DVDs. We got good books. I mean, Tom Worst book. And yeah. What happened to Tom? He got was pneumonia. Oh, that's he too bad. To, Everybody wanted to see I him know. here. He'll, he'll be here next year. He did. Wow, he, he played it off that two ball or blue ball. dead yeah. ball. Good yeah. for him. He found something. That was a pretty sporty shot. That was a three ball combination uh, off of uh, carom. Combo carom. Yeah, but look where he left the cue ball. Things could get worse before they get better. 
But he can duck on this. Oh, oh, he, oh he's going to just take the, bury the cue ball in the rack, take the, bank nine, the nine, nine towards nine his right pocket. Towards his hole. He might yeah. make the nine. He may not want to do that. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. That's the perfect spot for him. He did not. Well, yeah. though, he may have got, had a shot. He I did have a shot. Well, if he made it. Then he did he want to make it. He could make the three ball. <laughs> now Shane's got to kick this ball in off the end rail. Normally, it would not be a hard kick shot, but when you're jacked up over the whole pack, it's a little, it's a little harder like this to oh, make a yeah. good hit. Might have missed it. Oh, he just got it. Good, good shot, Shane. Yeah, good but you shot. know where he wanted to go. Oh, he got lucky. He got lucky. He's tying up behind that ball. Ronnie would have had a clear shot at the. Uh, not unless that, unless that uh, uh, three ball goes, I don't think he can shoot that. It's hard to tell from this angle. Real hard. If the three win, he'd probably be looking at it already. Honey's going into the pack here. He just wants to hide the cue ball. He got a rail with the yeah. seven. Yeah, you have to get a rail after contact. Cue ball or an object ball must hit a rail or make a ball or it's a scratch. And you can owe a ball in this game, similar to Banks. And uh, if the cue ball goes in the hole, it goes in the kitchen, and we go by base of ball. Well, now, even though Ronnie has two balls, Shane is, it's like in chess, it would be like Shane has, a, has the pawn advantage right now. Yeah. There's a lot of things Shane can do here and keep Ronnie tied up. You want, this is a good shot. Bank, just bank the three towards your pocket. It can only turn out good. He was going to make that. It can only turn out good. Ooh, it's hit, amazing he, that he, he hit the no man's land. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing that he didn't kiss that ball and go in. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ronnie. Ronnie's starting to get in a little trap. Ronnie better clear these balls right now. If he keeps shooting at his pocket here, he's gonna he's gonna be down three to nothing soon. I'm surprised. Well, he might, maybe he's got a dead one, but I sure don't see it from up here. 13 is the only thing I can see. I, don't, game I just in that don't, direction, see, it. I don't, I just see, don't it. see it. Well, that's and, what he was going for. And he for. didn't see it either. He was close, but it's. Look at these balls I've right now. He got, he, Shane can run eight from here. Can he, shoot, can he see yes, that he first can. ball? Yep, he can see yeah. the first ball. I mean, there's yeah. 10 balls out in the open. Yeah, just got to pick them off in order. But as good as he plays these little combinations, he can get behind them and just tick, 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 you know. Let him get above those balls right here. Oh, he wants to get this ball. He wants to get this one out of the way to clear the pocket. Sure. Out. Yeah. I'd say he's even Gonna money to run eight now. Yeah. Yeah. Go up and get that one on the rail. Oh, that's a nice way of doing it. That's two. Count along with me. We're going <laughs> to count to eight together. Shane's got a wealth of riches here. He says, which way do I want to go? Yeah. I think he's got to shoot. Indecision can cause problems, though. You've yeah. got to make up your mind. He doesn't really need to shoot that seven right now. He can shoot the eight. Even if he bumps I, the six, he's got the two. I, and he can come off the two and then go up. I the expect seven. him to shoot the eight. And probably, like you say, just, just snap it over a little bit and shoot the, the two if that's where he is. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And now he's got an angle. I think he's got an angle to get on the seven. Maybe not. It's pretty straight from the looks of it. I don't know. It looks, looks like it's aimed right with the cue ball. Yeah. Have to come, so he's got to come two rails out, which means he's got to juice it. And that's a little scary because he's elevated. He may just go a couple inches and just bank the 14, but you got to be a little careful there. It's, yeah, a it's, a combo. it's a lot harder because he's over the top of yeah. the ball again. Yeah. He's gonna, he wants to come up above that seven yeah. ball. He's going to whack it. He got there. He's okay. He came all the way around where he can shoot that, I don't know, I think he it's lost a 15 count. ball. See, you can't even count to eight. I think he got four so far. <laughs> I believe so. Let's see. 
There's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ronnie's got two. Yeah, he's got four. Now he's going to seven. Mm. Well, all you do is get back above that stripe. That's five. Yeah. Whenever they get the balls and everything, how many times did you hit it when the balls were still in the pockets and you forget it, you fire a ball and it pops up in the air and flies off the table because it runs, you know? Well, we used to always on drop pockets, after we get to put three or four balls in the pocket, we put some in the side mm -hmm. pocket. But you always want one in there. Yeah. Because otherwise it would pop. That's six. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. Here we go. Is he going to roll forward? No. Oh. That's, okay, yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. That's seven, and yeah. here comes nice. number eight. And he could run the next three, too. Well, wasn't that fun? Didn't take long to count to eight that time. This is a race to four. Shane's breaking on the hill. What's our score over with Mr. Oscar? One to nothing, Oscar. Hmm. I'm enjoying some of your beef lentil soup. I had it. Very Last good. It's pretty Very good. Very good. Yeah. Wow, three zip. You know, he wins the banks five zip in the finals. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, Came He's real okay. close to that. Came yeah. real close to kissing that corner right, ball. Right, right. He's okay though. Ronnie had his chances. He's had chances in two of the three games. Yeah. And I think the most balls he's run is three, with open tables. See, you look at this thing, you would never know. Nothing, I'm not insulting him. You would never know that Ronnie Alcano is the caliber of player that he really is, because he looks lost. He is a little lost right now. <laughs> and Warren, Warren was having the same problem most of yeah. the games. He woke up. Warren in that came game. Yeah, he came he back and beat up. Mitch. He woke up with Mitch as the game. But. You watch Warren will play better now. Let him get close. Yeah, yeah, he, he smells it now. Yeah, you know, he's settled down a little bit. Warren is a, he's a grinder. He is a warrior. He's a warrior. I like that too. Oh hell, somebody wants to know who we are. Who are you today, Jay? I'm Mark Riffin. Thank oh, you. I'm Jay Helford. <laughs> no, listen, I do not want to be Jay Helford. That guy's old. <laughs> I want to be Mark. Mark's young and strong. You bet. I'm a kid. Boy, look at that three ball combination. He almost made it. Meanwhile, look where he put the cue ball. Ronnie's in trouble right now. Ronnie was in trouble when he got this far in the brackets. <laughs> Shane is just, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Brackets. Brackets are always located, if they're CSI events, at ctsondemand.com. And they're there all the time. It's a website. You can also find them playcsipool.com. You yeah. can find it on there. Yeah. But there that's just a link to it. But there those brackets. And you can look up the one pocket for the last ten of them, you know. Okay. And, uh, our, our nationals, our, champ our amateur champions, there's hundred, probably dozens. This is the strategies Ron's used a couple of games where he keeps trying to stick the cue ball in the pack. But you know what? It doesn't work long with Shane. Yeah. I mean, if you can leave the ball in the pack like this, you're okay. But yeah. as soon as you give him a look at anything, he turns it around on you. Shane's going to shoot this ball up table. Looks like the 12 ball. Seems like he's always jacked up over the pack. Yeah. He'd like to shoot a two rails down I towards thought, his pocket. I thought pocket. that's what he was doing. Let's see. He might be. He did, but. A funny two. Yeah. I think Ronnie can see these balls uh, by Shane's pocket. He can see the four ball anyway. Well, that's, 
I mean, I don't know, but I think that ball's cuttable. That's a little spooky. Yeah. You know, the ball he tried to cut before was just as hard as yeah. now he's looking at it. Yeah. He might be a little gun shy now. <laughs> he missed that ball so badly. You remember when he had a cut shot yeah. like this? Mm -hmm. Check this out. Birmingham, Philadelphia, <laughs> New York. That's cool. They're all watching? Yeah, 1,100 oh, okay. people watching. We were up to, wow. we were up to 1,900 uh, on, wow. uh, in the banks wow. of all things. Well, you know, you don't see it's a lot a of world-class bank pool in one pocket. Yeah, and it's free. You know, and it's, uh, That's besides, nice. it's us, you know. <laughs> well, hopefully it's a good promotion for Griff's. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's all good. Yeah. We're coming to you from Griff's pool room. We're near the intersection of Decatur and Spring Mountain. If you're in Las yeah. Vegas, just remember that. Yeah, or a Get mile, your lift driver to take you there. Yeah, just a mile, 1.2 miles from the Rio Hotel. He made that one. Ooh, he just about got in trouble. The cue yeah. ball just about looped around there, but yeah. And he cleared out some of the traffic, but uh, he didn't get much. He can, he can. He whacked the balls and came up empty. Yeah. Well, he He's, made one and he can get rid of this yeah. one. So that that's that's progress. He did. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He'd like to have a shot at his pocket, but he doesn't. I think he just kicked behind this ball and kick it up to the side rail. Don't try too much here. Looks to me like he's gonna hit it too hard. Well, he wanted to get into the pack like he that. Did. that. He was, did, that was very nice. Mark, let me ask you, What's the next event coming up here? Um, US, well, we got a couple of uh, uh, like 550, 600 type of Fargo rating things, and I don't have any flyers with me. But the next major, major events is the US Open 8 ball and US Open 10 ball, and they're in July, mid July. Are they going to be here at Griff's? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, like, cool, just cool. like last year. Well, you got the BCA too. Right. It, it's July 18th through 27th. So, so it's, it's, they overlap? No. We, 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 yeah, we're actually playing the pros during. Oh, that's good. The amateur, because I we're like not doing that. any nine footers over there. Last year, we put right. one of them in front of our nationals and one behind, but that means the pros had to stay here nine days and there was no event. For I remember them. they were not happy about I'm not that. Ha I wasn't yeah. happy about so it. So you know, now you're doing a back to back. Right. Here. Right. So. And when is that in July? Uh, give or take a, the 18th of July. Now, does it overlap with that West Coast pool swing thing? They, they, it stops here. It kind of gets leads up to us. Nice. That's what the West like Coast that. swing was always. It was building up to the Vegas tour. Yeah, because they got events like in Sacramento. They got one. Yeah, it's like four or five events. Yeah. Used to be at hard times. I think times. Uh, even Scott Frost is going to have one at his place. He did. That's right. And he's like two or three days in front of us. So. Yeah. So that's. Uh, well, I decided to try to become a pool player again for a while. Look at this bank shot he just made. Nice shot, Shane. Now you say, well, he left him a shot, but look at the shot he left for Ronnie. If Ronnie had a shot, he was straight into the nine ball, and you can't even shoot that shot. All you can get is one ball. Yeah. Now Shane's got a chance. You know, if he could run that one ball in and get over to the side rail, he's going to run some balls. He's got to make this first long, difficult shot. Pretty sure he'll shoot the one. Well, it's reasonably safe, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even think he has to worry about scratching. I think the cue ball well, bump I'm into the nine. Well, it depends how hard he hits it. He could curve around the nine almost, but it, I, I, or if he misses it, he could. You know, that's the only thing I'd be really worried about. All he's got to do is focus on rolling it in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here we go. He makes this ball. He's gonna. This match might be over soon. I mean, he's got everything out in the open then. He overcut it. Oh, it went in. Swish. Looks like you know yeah. it's a little bit it's hard. Deceiving. Our perception is a little it, different. It, it is a deceiving angle. It's well, just off. It's just a little tweaked. Yeah. I think Ronnie can kiss this match goodbye. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as the last rack, but yet. You let Shane loose with a bunch of open balls. See, so he's looking at these two here. That's the the four and the 11 ball. 
The problem with Shane is you and I, everybody's got imagination. The problem is he can actually do it. He can <laughs> execute it. If he can think of it, he can execute it. Yeah. It's like Jimmy Rimpy once said. He said it's not necessarily um, the choice of shots. It's how you execute the one you choose. Yeah. Shane needs Ten four. Yep. He's, he's, he's better than even money to get out here the way these balls are sitting because yeah. he can spread them out. And remember, these are four and a quarter inch pockets. No telling what he'd be doing on four and a half inch pockets. But one pocket players prefer a little bit tighter. He'd like to double dip everybody here at this tournament. Why he hit that ball, I don't I don't really understand what he was trying mm -hmm. to do there. All he had to do was come over and get above the 11 ball yeah. and then run down into the pack. I, I'm really not sure. Now he's got a, it's a little harder cut shot on the 11 from where, he, it's actually a lot harder from there. It looks like the five, the five ball goes. All he's got to do is come across table. Well, here we go. Six, needs two. Well, I can count to two with you. I had a hard, hard time counting <laughs> eight, but I got this two you have down. You to use two hands. <laughs> Anything he bumps here is moving towards his hole. See? Well, that well, he's got a shot at the 15. Does it go? The 15 yeah. goes, yeah. yeah. This is for the match. This is it. Shutting yeah. out Ronnie Alcano. Bye-bye, yeah. Ronnie. Bye-bye, Ronnie. Oh, wait a second. What happened? Bite my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> well. He can get that out on a diamond. That's one thing about a diamond. It, that's not anywhere oh, yeah. near. That's, that, that's almost an easy it. out, he's just a little low ball. I don't yeah. know that anything can save Ronnie now, but that was a little blip on Shane's radar right yeah. there. He actually missed a ball. Is he going to kick? No, I'm going to say, look at how those balls are lined up. It's pretty, that, would be, know, that would be justice, right? All he has to do is start sending balls up That's table. right. Absolutely right. That's what we were saying earlier. You know, yeah. The guy that's that far ahead, he's got to remember ball count. Oh, Shane is, he's very Perceptive. pool aware all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe me, Shane always knows the score. That's kind of like the number one cardinal rule in one pocket. Always know the score. Yeah. Because the way you play is really a, a, that a was factor Ronnie, of that. That was Ronnie Allen. He says, <laughs> you know, he knew when to go for the, well, because sometimes, you know, like that one match you had 100 years ago at the, at the uh, Golden 8. Yeah, I Ronnie one, and Danny. Yeah, and he banked one ball. Be, he had a window that big, and he banks it. And he says, what the hell are you doing that? Because I know the score. Yeah. He, he was stuck. Right. Can't win unless he runs balls. That was hey, a Steve. Great match. That's 30 years ago. Oh, at 19, least. 19. Is either 87 or 88. Yeah. That's 30. Yeah. Time flies yeah. when you're having yeah. fun, Mark. Yeah. That was one of the first big match videos ever made. Yeah, that was, what, a $20,000 match? Yeah, that was, the Played, money was there. People said, oh, was, no, the money was up. I saw Played the on money. Centennial, yeah, uh, in the pit. Yeah, right. And Danny was the home pro there. Bank shot to win the match. Yeah, that reversing, uh, that, that was an awesome bank shot. I still remember This is close. It was real Very close. close. Real close. How long did it take him, an hour? to win four games? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what time it is. All right, folks, that's it. We will be playing again at uh, 5 o'clock. Mark, I'll see you later this evening. Yeah. I'm going to take a little break. We